Hi guys, welcome back to a weekly vlog. You join me in my office, I'm sat against my like back wall. Uh, for once I've been filming some stuff for a brand that's not against the fairy light wall. Who am I? But I hope you're all doing really, really well. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. It is actually the evening. I'm starting this vlog at a bit of the wrong time because I spent all of this morning getting my hair done. So I've just kind of had the roots touched up, the highlights taken higher because they'd got honestly to about here. I kept trying to disguise it by sort of like either wearing it slightly up or like back combing the roots so that it looked a bit less. But the stripe was striping and I've also just had the shaping at the front kind of cut back in a little bit. But I'm actually trying to grow this out because uh, my hand naturally is too frizzy to have fringe pieces um, and as much as I love it, it's really damaging to straighten them all the time and I just think if I could grow it out to be one length, then it's not, that's not happening. As much as I love the look of this, it's just too much upkeep on my hair and the front of my hair just snaps because I'm like pulling it straight all the time, and which is not healthy and I'm, I'm kind of trying to get like my hair back in a healthy state. So I'm growing these out a little bit, but I've had them trimmed just to tidy them up. Same with the like long layers at the front. I will insert some videos. This is what I filmed whilst I was having my hair done. Really not a lot because it took a good couple of hours and I was just having a catch up with my hair just there. But this was how I spent the morning. And then this afternoon, I've just been doing some work. So you join me now, it is the evening. I am about to have some pizza with my mum. It's just the two of us in this week. My dad is working in London. Harry is back at university. And I think this vlog is gonna be quite a fun one. I have a really busy work week, um, but I also have some nice plans tomorrow with my friend Rachel. I'm going out for drinks with my friends this evening. Some friends I haven't seen for a while, actually. And then on Thursday, I'm in London all day for a meeting and a catch up with New and maybe Lizzie as well. I'm not too sure what's happening yet, but it's gonna be a good vlog, basically. Strap yourself in, there should be some familiar faces. Busy working week, let's crack on. Oh, also, it has now been five days since the release of Midnight's and I'm still not over it and my vinyls arrived at the weekend. In fact, I'm gonna show you. So I'll just sit you in my bedroom. The lighting in here is super funny because of the time of day, but look at these two. Ah! I am obsessed. I haven't actually used my vinyl player all that much. I'm sort of just collecting these as like collectors items so i bought myself this one about 12 minutes after she announced that the album was coming out on her website so that was way back in august and then tom got me this one for my birthday because this was my favorite of the like special editions that she brought out because look at the actual vinyl i'm sorry firstly look at how stunning she looks um and secondly just look at this i'm sorry like what is this not just the most stunning vinyl you've ever seen. Look at that. Basically all of the special editions were meant to be like different moons and this is like the jade moon and that's kind of why it's got this pattern on it. I am bloody in love with it. To the point where actually I sort of, when I have my own house, want to frame the actual vinyl and have it in a frame. Maybe I'll just do that with the vinyl covers. I don't know, I am um, obsessed. I would love to know how many she sold specifically. You probably can find that out somewhere. Just in case you cared, this is the original one. Again, she looks amazing. I love this photo shoot. I'm not sure the vibes of the photo shoot match the album though, but, and then this was the original vinyl. Just absolutely stunning. It's this like blue, pale blue, ah. Uh, oh. They would look so good together in like a blue themed bedroom. Just saying. Future house, vinyls on the wall. So yeah, these arrived over the weekend. I'm very happy with them. I am going out for drinks now. Um, when I say drinks, I mean like a drink and a catch up because I actually have to be back for 10 p.m. because I actually have a meeting, which sounds very, very odd. But if I tell you the meeting is with a country that is not in the same time zone as us, I think that probably explains why. And obviously I am not going to be tipsy or drunk for that so mainly we're just going to have a catch up with, with our friends but um yeah heading out now i've just got on this little black top it's like a collared v-neck top h&m h&m and i'm gonna pop on a big coat because it is freezing hello guys we are back from the pub and we are in bed clearly what are we watching we're watching the watcher we are we're on episode seven final episode mm -hmm. i've really enjoyed it guys the watcher is currently really popular on netflix and it's actually based on a true story quite loosely based but it is based on a true story about a family that basically were like the victims of a very odd true crime case because it's not really like crime in the sense that you would usually think of it it's, it's like been stalked basically i'm not going to spoil it but it's been good hasn't it it's been very good my mum and dad have just finished it and they said it was brilliant oh really i told my mum and dad they really should start watching it and i think they will start watching it because everybody's talking about it but yeah if you haven't seen it i would recommend it unless you spend a lot of time home alone <laughs> and then it might freak you out personally if i lived in a house on my own i probably wouldn't enjoy watching this but yeah no it's been good that it's is good. our recommendation of the moment and we're gonna go to bed it was a lovely evening we 
had a little catch up with friends. We actually ended up doing a pub quiz, guys. Came seventh in the pub quiz. We did out of about fifteen or sixteen. Fifteen. So that's that's the top fifty percent, um, which is pretty solid effort considering the diff the level of difficulty. Oh my god, it was so hard, guys. The questions. Was it was stupid. about like aerodynamics and physics, and then like music knowledge from like the seventies. Oh, this is my new moon. But but no, we're gonna watch the watch now. We've got the moon. Here he is. We've called him Lupin. And I hope if you're uh, any Harry Potter fans out there, we'll get the reference. <laughs> oh. Sound like an owl. Oh, wait, guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get the reference. It was to complete the Taylor Swift I, I said this in my what I got for my birthday. The moon and Saturn. Love you to the moon and Saturn. And here they are. I've got the moon and Saturn. I like them. They're from Celestial. Celestial teddies? Celestial? Celestial buddies. Celestial buddies. I think they're American. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. It is fairly early. We're on a little dog walk. Here's mum. Where's the dog? There she is. Um, but it's a really nice day actually. It's like blue skies. Weather's been really bad the last couple of days. Actually yesterday was okay. Um, but it's been such such stormy weather. Sometimes it's really nice in October and then other times it's like full on winter in October. But yeah, we're just out for a little walk. Getting in some fresh air before I'll probably inevitably spend the entire day on my laptop. Good. Actually no, that's a lie. I'm going out for lunch as well today. So that'll be lovely. But I'll tell you more about that later. It has been a couple of hours since I walked the dog. Just been doing some editing, sending some stuff over to my manager, working basically. Um, and now it is actually 12.45 and I'm about to go meet my friend Rachel for lunch. Go to a cafe in Beverly that I don't think I've ever actually been to before. She recommended it and I'm trusting her judgment. So yeah, we're going to somewhere called Poma. And I think I've been for ice cream, but I didn't know they did food, but apparently they do. So we're heading there. Um, and then we're just gonna run a few errands as well, like in town. But that'll be really nice. Haven't seen Rachel in a while. So it's gonna be good, it's gonna be nice. The weather looks good. We might actually be able to sit outside. No, who am I kidding? It's far too windy for that. But yeah, I've just finished getting ready. Straighten my hair again. It's looking very blonde. And it feels really healthy actually, guys. Like, I think my hair just put a really good, like, deep conditioner on it when she rinsed out the dye. Um, and it feels so soft and quite often when I've just had it dyed blonde for the first few days It feels kind of like not crispy, but like you know when you've had it dyed blonde And it's just a bit dry because you've, you've stripped all the moisture out of your hair But it doesn't feel like that at all and it looks quite healthy and dare I say I feel like it's thickened up a little bit I don't want to jinx it, but my hair in the summer was falling out so so much more than it is now So it's definitely a positive It has been a little minute. I'm at the petrol station at the moment. It's actually quarter past ten in the evening. I'm <laughs> just filling up my car because I thought now's a good time to do this, innit? No, it's honestly the first chance I've got. I think the last thing I vlogged, I was with Rachel. This afternoon, I've literally been flat out. I got back from seeing Rachel at about three. Then from three till now, so ten, three till ten, I've solidly been at my desk for the whole time, which is absolutely fine. I did obviously stop to have tea. It's been very, very busy today, but it was so lovely to see Rachel. I won't see her for a while now, um, but it was really, really lovely to have a catch up. I haven't seen Tom this evening until now. Um, I've just picked him up. We're filling the car up and then I'm dropping him off back at home again. But he has just kindly filled my car up for me. Well, actually, he's done the manual act of filling up my car. I did pay for it. Are you okay? Mm. Tom's not good, guys. Tom's just pulled his hamstring at football. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually totally, totally forgot you'd done that and af until right, after. Fair, I want to try and keep moving it. Yeah. I actually have a lot of pain. I'm not going to lie. You need some strong painkillers. I've got some strong painkillers. Oh. You need to say like an anti-inflammatory. Hamstring injury advice. Go in the comments. Anyway, we're going to set off now. Same as any muscular injury. Yeah, you've had this before. You are really quite injury prone. I'm not usually. It's only been the last year. True, actually. That's true. Right, I'm anyway. Old. You are getting old, it's a sign I've you should retire. Any, I've never had any muscular injuries playing football, and in the last year I've had two now. Ugh. It's a sign you should retire from sport. It's a sign I'm getting old. No, it's not, it's a sign that... It was just unlucky tonight. Anyway, we're going to set back off, I'm going to drop Tom off at home, but I just thought I'd say hello whilst I'm sat in the petrol station. Because this is how I love to spend my Wednesday evening, guys. Isn't the petrol station just so fun? It's a really, really nice petrol station. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Not to be dramatic. But I just reverse parked my car, which needs documenting because I've actually never done that and I've been driving for five years. 
and it was an easy space but also i don't really care like that was a skill also what is this bit of hair doing already are you joking me are you joking i haven't even gone in the rain yet but it is raining super heavy so i don't even know why i bothered but i'm at doncaster train station it is 9 15 and i've got a train in 20 minutes so all good time i'm ready The meeting was a success. I don't think I've really actually told you that I was coming down for a meeting, but I was coming down for a meeting with my manager, uh, a big catch up with the team because I literally have not seen any of them or been into the office since before COVID. Actually, I did see them last Christmas, but I haven't been into the office since before the pandemic. Um, so that was really, really lovely. Now I have like a spare hour and a half before I'm gonna meet New, um, who I also haven't seen in ages. Um, so I've decided to be the ultimate fangirl and come to the Westfield at Shepherd's Bush because Taylor Swift is on the Graham Norton show tonight and it films at the television centre here. I did try to get tickets but I was not successful. But because I've got about an hour and a half and it's literally like gonna start recording fairly soon, I thought I'll just go and see what's going on at the television centre, which I really doubt will be anything. Holy hell, it's loud. Um, and if not, here is Westfield, so I'm just gonna vibe in here for like an hour and then head back to meet New at about 5.30. It is such a lovely day in London. It's literally so warm. I'm dressed for the total wrong season. So bright. Anyway, yeah, so I'm at the television center right now. I am out for dinner now with New. Here she is, it's been a while. We're at a restaurant called pa Pastayo. New picked it, I trusted her recommendation, but I mean, the food came super quick and the wine is great. So all in all, success so far. I'm very excited about this. I've got vegan meatballs and tomato pasta and good vibes. We're sitting outside also, it's the last week in October. And it's fine. No. I'm happy with this. We are heading back to the tube now. This is a goodbye. Won't see you for a little while. Maybe um, I can do a virtual cameo. Maybe. She might, be, she might be in a vlog. You never know. But no, it's been really lovely catching up. We had dinner. I picked the busiest part of London to vlog in, but you know what? It's fine. Um, and I'm actually just going to head back and get the train home now, which I was debating going back to where I just was at the television studio. And he was like, don't do that. That's so silly. You're not going to meet Taylor Swift. <laughs> and I'm not. So I'm going to get the tube and then get the train from King's Cross instead. Good morning guys, it is Friday. I think the last thing I vlogged was me leaving new. I got the train home last night. I got home at like 10, which was actually amazing because I left London at half past seven and I got in at like quarter past 10, half past 10. It was like under three hours, which is insane. Um, if you're wondering why I'm in the back of the car now, I'm actually going back to the train station to just quickly pop into Hull to help Tom with some work stuff. Um, but I wouldn't get in the front of the car because there was a spider on the wing mirror and I didn't want to go near it. So I thought I'll just open the other door and then I don't have to go near it. My mum's in the front laughing at me. I am a child. Yeah, I'm basically heading into Hull to help Tom out with a few bits of content, ironically, that he needs to get. You know what? The longer this relationship goes on, the more our jobs are just becoming the same job. So that's that's all fine. He helps me out a lot, so it's only fair. Um, but no, yesterday was very, very productive. I feel like I didn't really talk you through what was even going on. So when I get back later, I might just quickly summarize yesterday because there was so much just like, now I'm in a meeting, now I'm trying to find Taylor Swift, now I'm seeing new, now I'm having tea. And it was just all like, what? And that's how it felt for me as well. I was just kind of running around all day. I was very, very tired. I was gonna get up and go to spin class this morning, but I didn't do that. I was like, hmm, I'm very tired. I did a lot of steps around London yesterday. I'm not going to spin, but I'm heading to home now. The fall is coming, I can feel it The breeze brings goosebumps to my skin Tonight the whiskey feels stronger Gasoline on hidden desires So Hi guys, it 
is now a lot later. We've just had dinner, haven't we? We have. We had a some kind of garlicky pastory thing. Yeah, it was a HelloFresh one actually. HelloFresh one. It was very nice. Would Not sponsored, but yeah, it was. It was really, really good. Mm. It was the creamy garlic and greens rigatoni. I um, know about the greens. It was nice. Tom did pick the vegetables out, um, but. We've actually predominantly been setting up my new phone. I forgot to mention this yesterday, actually. Like I say, London was a whirlwind, but I managed to get my hands on the new iPhone 14 Pro from the Apple Store in Covent Garden. I'd actually placed an order, hadn't I? Yeah, and then you went, you had it ordered, and then um, they, you went into store, they had it in stock, so they like just swapped it for the yeah. other one. Yeah, that's a really good policy by Apple. I didn't know they did that, but if you've placed an order and it's coming in like two weeks, but they have it in stock, they'll just give you it. So I was like, oh showed them my order on my phone and they just handed me it. Admittedly, I'd ordered the purple version because you know me, um, and that's completely out of stock nationwide. And I was like, to be honest, I'm not that bothered because I always have a phone case on anyway. I'm sorry, I know this is out of focus. So I'm not sure what it's even focusing on. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> just got a new camera. But we've been setting this up, swapping over from my old iPhone. Gone are the days where I would have sat and done a full video unboxing this. We did one together. Yeah, we did. 10S, that one, but we've got the... We both, you got the normal, I got the Yeah, max. was that the 10? The XS? That was yeah, the was, was it? Yeah, yeah um, so I'm not going to sit and do an unboxing, but here it is. It looks like a new phone. I have got a phone case for it, don't you worry. Um, but I'm actually heading out now. Tom's about to drop me off because I'm going for drinks with my friend Amelia. This week has been one jump to the next jump to the next jump to the next jump, but I'm very happy with my phone and yeah, it's good. It's nice. It's exciting. The camera quality is great. You need to go now. Next year. Next year. I'm you just I'm holding off to the change to your To be fair, you were one phone ahead of me. We're we're yeah. on opposites now. You're I, on the I, 13. Yeah, this be fair, there's nothing wrong with my phone. No. So, um, but they do I do like the uh, the dynamic island. It's very cool. At the you top. still never know what that is, do you? Yeah, no, I do. The oh, bezel right. at the top. <laughs> um but no, so I had the twelve, Tom has has the thirteen and now I have the fourteen, so we're like alter alternating. So I shall get the fifteen. Mm. Anyway, we're gonna go out. I'm gonna go out. There is a fifteen. Of course I'll be a fifteen. Absolute shock horror. I never ended the vlog. Um, and I'm just currently getting ready and I thought, yeah, this is a good time to end it whilst I look half ready. But this is the end of the vlog. I'm about to dry off my hair. Basically, I spent all of Thursday in London with like no explanation. But then as I've edited the vlog, you can kind of see what I was doing anyway. I really didn't film very much because I was in like a lunch meeting and then like a meeting meeting for the majority of the afternoon. And then you guys saw that I went to meet New and headed over to the television studio. And honestly, I don't even know where this week has gone. Editing the vlog back, I'm like, this week feels like one week and one month all at the same time like so much has happened i'm planning and organizing so much stuff behind the scenes that you guys will get to see so soon like in the next 10 days um just a lot going on so i'm sorry that this vlog is all over the place but it will become clear why i'm just gonna say that and i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new around here and i shall be back on my channel very soon with another video bye guys